Hey guys, my name is Emmanuel DeLeon and I'm going to teach you a ram called Lickety Split that is really fun to play. A couple simple ideas uh, but using different rudiments that makes it really fun to play. Now let me slow that down for you. Just in case you didn't catch it, let me break that down just a little bit slower, even though the music is probably on the screen for you. Starts off with these first two bars, just being basic eighth notes and sixth notes with doubles and singles. And then a little bit faster. And as you speed it up, you're gonna notice that, especially with the singles and opening up to get to the next accent, you have to relax your fingers a little bit, you make it a little more legato in order to make sure you reach those two heights. And then the next section is just the next two bars of basic eighth notes and sixth notes still going back to back. But now we're going to start messing with the sticking a little bit more, messing with paradiddles, some right hand to left hand leads, and then a little bit of a back sticking section coming out of an eighth note into a sixth notes back to back. And as far as the back sticking is concerned, I like to go side to side rather than straight over the top in order to make sure I can keep up with the speed because this is one of those licks that obviously you're going to want to play really fast. So in order to do that, you have to achieve it by using less bigger muscles. One of the last sections is now coming into a little pancake flip on the right hand while keeping the left hand going and playing some rough diddles leading into the shots as well as paradiddle diddles and then a paradiddle transfer off the right hand into a left handed uh, release on the butt. And then for the crossover, all you gotta do is make sure you move the beads slightly both backwards and forwards without going too extreme with one hand. The idea here is to get the most sound possible without going too far and using too big of a muscles, again because it's lick is going to be played a lot faster. Now for the very last bar, it starts where you left off with a left butt into an inverted putta da and then the last part which is a little bit tricky in order to get the speed is a stuck butt on the right hand into left hand lead 360 notes Shot release, flam, flam. One thing is to make sure you don't get confused with is that right hand butt on the pad is not a normal back stick where you come off the head and rebound and go right to the next thing. For a visual effect, I like to stick it as long as possible coming into the shot release in order to get that effect like you're stuck and then out of nowhere came this shot. Now that I've broken it all down, I'm going to play it at a medium to slow tempo just so you can see it all back to back. Now finally, all up to tempo. All right, that's the full lick, and there's a lot of simple ideas rhythmically happening, but just like any other ram, there's a lot of stickings, a lot of tricks and stuff, so obviously break it down, control the heights, make sure you start slow and go to fast like everything else, and I hope you have a lot of fun with it.